to. I'm live. So I can't preview on the phone, so I don't know if you can see that. I'm streaming. Says I'm streaming. Let's look. Yeah. So we're live, you can see, right there. And so that's the screen I see. So there's broadcast preview on my laptop. And then uh, here's what you see in the app. It does not show you the preview window, but it does give you kind of like a stream health. So, wasn't super easy to set up. I think the biggest thing with this one is that um, you have to have a stream key, you have to copy it from, I couldn't even find it in the app on the phone. So I had to go on the internet, send it to myself through Facebook Messenger, because it's like a, I don't know, 60 character thing. So I had to copy that and send it over, and then uh, get it in the Messenger and paste it. Uh, you could find, you have to find the, the Twitch stream RTMP URL uh, online. I copied that from my phone, but it's not, it's kind of clunky a little bit. I know, look at my hair. I need a haircut. Uh, anyway, it's uh, real clear, super clear. Um, just watching it kind of on here, it looks super clear. But it wasn't, it wasn't as easy as, say, like Facebook, you know, where you can go straight to a particular page or profile and the stream key is kind of already embedded in the information that you tell. Like when you're saying, Facebook, I want to stream to this page, all that stream URL and stream key and all that's kind of in the information and it's understood uh, when you do it that way. But when you use an RTMP to get to Twitch or any other RTMP based thing, you need to copy that information from your destination you need the destination it needs to end up on the phone so you can paste it into the app uh, and that plus the stream key that gets it gets a little more clunky but that's how streaming works on RTMPs you need to have that information with you and so when you need to get it to a phone that's just that's the way it is so but uh, I'm streaming uh, 3900 kilobytes a second that's pr that's pretty good um, pretty incredible really and so basically what's happening is is the, the, the GoPro is connected wirelessly and through Bluetooth so it originally it creates its own Wi-Fi network for the phone to connect to and give you live preview and control over running time lapses and things like that but in this case it needs to connect to an actual wireless network to broadcast. So what it does is it seems like it hands off the connection to the app from Wi-Fi to, uh, I guess, Bluetooth, an auxiliary Bluetooth connection. Um, it's all managed in the Wi-Fi, but it, it like uh, partitions itself, I'm not exactly sure, but basically it makes it available so that your uh, phone can connect to a wireless network uh, that's actually internet as opposed to a wireless network between the camera, but it is obviously still connected wirelessly through a different way. So um, you can't, when, when you control your GoPro on your phone, you can't be on Wi-Fi that isn't the GoPro's Wi-Fi. And the GoPro's Wi-Fi is not actual internet connection, it's more of just a wireless connection. Uh, so that's very cool, pretty cool. Um, this, you know, pretty nice for life casting, I can see. Um, the hard part is that I don't have any preview with the GoPro. So on the back of the GoPro, the, the, the monitor is not on. Plus, I wouldn't be able to see it because I'd have to keep turning around. Plus, um, you can't preview on your phone. So you need a device to see that you're online. And that's why I'm using my, my uh, laptop here to kind of do that. So anyway... Um, 
getting through that first hurdle, and I hope it I, I hope it saves the profile, like that stream information, the stream key and all that. I hope it saves it so I can just go live on Twitch whenever because it's it's the same stream key, it's the same URL, so I could just flip on and off whenever I want. I hope it saves that. That'd be very nice. I'll have to wait and see. Um, but if it doesn't, that process is kind of clunky. The quality is really, really, really good. Now, on a platform like Twitch or something when you're talking about video game streamers, you want this to kind of be a picture-in-picture uh, -picture camera, right? Which it can't do. Um, in this case, I'd want to take this shot here that I'm looking at, put it in the bottom right, bottom left, whatever corner I put it in, and overlay that on top of gameplay. And in this case, you can't do that wirelessly this way, you'd have to use the HDMI output from the camera my uh, and then run it through a piece of software that allows you to overlay it. So um, that's probably the way that I think most people would want to use this thing. But to be able to go live, I just had some quality drop there, but it's coming back up. But anyway, the ability to go live and, and go to Twitch, if that's your platform of choice and you're kind of like a life caster or something like that. Uh, that's a pretty cool thing as well. So uh, we'll continue to test it, but um, really like the quality. As a camera, obviously GoPro 7s and 8s, unbelievable. Um, you know, the, the hyperlapse feature, those kind of things that have really sent GoPro and really killed all the other action cameras um, are here and it works really well. But from a live standpoint, you know, this is holding up really, really well. The connectivity between the phone and the camera are very good. Getting to this point was, there were some hurdles. You have to really know stream keys and RTMPs and all those things and, and know what you're looking for. It's not just out of the box gonna work. Um, but the functionality to be able to go to any RTMP if you have the URL and the stream key uh, is a pretty cool addition. So um, thank you GoVo for, for hooking us up and letting us try this out, but uh, we'll continue to try it. We'll go live again. Um, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm gonna stop this and let me listen to audio really quick. Uh, as a pretty cool addition. So. Sounds pretty good. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll keep working on it and let you guys know what else I find.